welcome to the Callington Cluster All Age Service. This morning we're going to be looking at a story in the Bible. We're going to be looking at a very famous story actually that's all about worry and peace and how to be peaceful during the storms of life. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, in a minute do some prayer and, and then we're going to have a little bit of a worship sandwich. So Steve's going to open in, in worship and then um, I'm going to look at the story for today and then he's going to do a another set of worship and then we're going to finish our service in prayer. So first of all though we need to open in prayer and what we're going to do is we're going to do the teaspoon prayer like we do um, like we've done for the last few services. So um, do you remember what the teaspoon prayer stands for? So we've got thank you, sorry, and please. So when you do a recipe and you use a teaspoon of something it always does TSP to stand for teaspoon rather than writing out the whole word. So that's why we call it the teaspoon prayer. So we're going to say um, thank you to God and we're going to say sorry to God and we're going to ask God for something. So why don't you get a piece of paper and a pen and write down something that you are thankful for, something that you are sorry for and something that you would like to ask God for. You go and do that now while I just explain what we're going to be looking at today. So we're going to be looking at the story of when Jesus um, was asleep in a storm. He was in the boat and um, his disciples um, woke him up and asked them, uh, asked him to help them with the storm because they were very, very scared, very worried and, um, and Jesus helped them to be peaceful. So we're going to be looking at that today. So try and think of something that um, you might uh, worry about um, because sometimes um, our worries seem really big at the time but actually they are quite small um, but they're not small things to God because God says several times in the Bible that he wants us to give our worries to him um, he wants us to talk to him about our worries and give them all to him so let's do our teaspoon prayer before we um, get into the rest of the service so have you thought of something that you're thankful for good have you thought, th uh, thought of something that you're sorry for and that you want to say please to God for. Brilliant, okay, so now I'm gonna open in prayer and we're going to commit all of the things that you have written down um, to God. Okay, so let's pray. Father God, thank you for this day and thank you for everybody who is listening today. Lord, sorry for the things that uh, we have done that have disappointed you and that I've made you um, sad and we just pray that you will take all of those things from our bodies, our minds, our hearts and our souls and you will just um, clean us up on the inside and make us all shiny and new so that we can focus on you and focus on the things um, of you that um, make us um, peaceful and help us not to worry. Father, I commit every single prayer request, every please that someone has written, that you will um, put your hand over those things and you'll put your hand over those lives that, um, that are listening right now and watching this right now, that you will, you will bless them and that you will um, just speak love into them. Please help us not to worry and help us to be peaceful this week. In your precious name, Amen.
So now we're going to look at our story for today and our story is quite famous actually and lots of people use it as examples of how to not worry and how to be peaceful and that's what we're going to be looking at today is learning how to be peaceful during um, times of when we're really worried. Um, so I've got the, the Play Along Bible um, by Bob Hartman here and uh, we're going to look at the story of when uh, Jesus was caught in a storm. So this comes from Matthew 8, 23 to 27. No more storm. And this you might want to do some actions for. Jesus and his friends were riding in a boat. Say, yo-ho! The waves rocked the boat gently. Can you rock back and forth like you're in a boat? Like that. Jesus fell asleep. Can you pretend to sleep? Then the wind blew hard, like this. And the waves crashed faster. So you've got to rock really fast now. Can you do that? Oh my goodness. Jesus' friends were scared. All oh, look really scared. Oh. And they shouted, wake up, Jesus! So Jesus shushed the wind and the waves to be still. Now you need to be really still. And everyone was safe. So rock back and forth. So in that story, Jesus was um, in a big storm and he was actually fast asleep because he knew that everything was going to be fine where his disciples had no idea that he was going to be able to calm the storm and that they were going to be safe. They were on this boat and they were just absolutely petrified that they were going to die because they thought that the boat was going to tip over or waves were going to pull them into the sea or that um, some people could fall overboard and that would have been disastrous. So um, Jesus was fast asleep and they woke him up because they were so frightened and in the story in the Bible it actually says that Jesus told them not to worry anymore and that he, they didn't need to worry all they needed to do was to talk to God and God would help them in any way um, that God wanted to help them. So that's something that we need to think about in our daily lives. So when we're really worried about something um, is to remember that our first port of call needs to be to talk to God. It's not to uh, run around and try and sort things out ourselves or um, to, to ring somebody else to try and help us. It's to ask God in the first instance and then he might give you an idea of how to sort the problem out or he might just sort the problem out all for you um, and then you can speak to others and ask for help that way. So what does the word peace mean? The word peace means to actually just be content with what we already have, to um, be um, okay with the situation um, around us. And it's, it's okay to worry, but it's not okay to dwell on the worry. And um, there is a famous quote actually that says, um, worrying is worshiping the problem. So instead what we need to do sometimes is to actually turn around and worship God instead. So sometimes if you're really worried about something and you feel like you're really not peaceful, you're not content with the situation, is just to sing a song to God, to, to, to use a worship song, a praise song, um, to worship him instead. So then your focus is taken off of the problem and your, and your worries and you can focus on God instead. In 1 Peter 5 7 it says turn all your worries over to God because he cares for you and that's the thing is that God loves us so much that he doesn't want us to be dwelling on our worries and our um, really bad situations he wants us to spend time with him because he is our Heavenly Father and um, he loves us so so much so whenever you are worried just sit down and just talk to God and tell him everything that you're worried about and it will already make you feel peaceful just telling him um, what's going on and um, God will always answer in one of three different ways he'll either say yes no or not yet and that's that's the thing is that the things that he says no to means that we're getting protected from um, something else that could happen that would be that would be wrong for us 
So that is something that you um, need to really focus on in this week is every time you get really worried about something is just to, to pray and just remember that he loves you so much and that he wants to know all of your worries and know um, that you that you want him that you, that you want his help. And in Philippians 4, 6, it says not to worry about anything, but instead pray about everything and to also thank God for all he has done so far in your life. So that's also something we need to remember is a bit of gratitude that, um, that God has given us um, what we have already. So when you are super worried, have a look around and have a look at where you are. Have a look at your house and go, actually, God, thank you for my home because some people don't have homes and that's really sad and I pray for those people and um, thank him for your family as well because some people um, literally have no family whatsoever they are completely alone um, so just remember to thank God for all the um, blessings in your life um, that you have already and so that you can um, look, look at the bigger picture in all of this and remember that you can um, put, take all of the worry that you've got and give it to God so that you don't have to um, feel so worried and anxious anymore and that you can feel a little bit of peace and always ask God for peace as well it's one of the fruits of the spirit and um, we can always ask God for a little bit more peace um, within us Jesus once told a crowd of people that God already gives um, the birds everything they need to eat and that they don't need to worry about um, their next meal because God already provides that for them within the earth. And same with the, as the flowers as well, that um, flowers don't need to worry about um, growing their, their petals um, because God does that for them and they grow petals naturally. So um, that's something that we just need to be mindful of is that God actually loves us far more than he loves the birds and the flowers and the trees and all of creation. He loves us the very most. So if he provides for all of the birds and all of nature, then surely he will provide for us. And that's something that you need to remember is that you are so loved um, that all you need to do is cast all of your cares, all of your worries um, onto God and he will care for you. Thank you. 
any worries or fears this week then don't forget to cast them onto God and to ask God to help you with them. So now let's pray together. Father God thank you that you love us so much that you love us far more than anything else on this planet and I just pray that you will um, bless all of those who are watching this video today and that you will remove any fear or worry from them and you will replace that fear and worry with peace and love. That they will just feel your presence in the room right now and they will just feel that you are there um, loving them and taking care of all of their needs. I pray, Father, that as we go about our um, weeks to come and especially with the lead up to Christmas and with everything going on in the world right now, that you will just um, help us to continue to be peaceful and to continue to um, love one another and take care of one another. We thank you for um, this week and thank you for um, the amazing word that um, you have created within the Bible. And we thank you for, for Steve and his worship and we thank you for um, everybody in the cluster who is uh, working so hard to make um, the um, online presence of, of God possible. In your precious name, Amen. Thank you for watching our All Age service. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the next few All Age services, um, they won't be me doing it, it'll be somebody else because I'm actually going on maternity leave to have a baby. So um, it might be somebody else um, doing um, the All Age services from now on. So um, I hope you have um, a blessed week. And um, if you want any more details about Callington Cluster, then go to www.callingtoncluster.org.uk and um, and we've got lots of resources on our website, on our social media channels. So that is uh, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. So that you can um, check all of that out and um, get some extra teaching um, and get some um, really lovely videos and um, different resources. So it was lovely to um, be with you this morning and um, have a really uh, peaceful week. God bless. Bye.